In the constellation of Orion, there is a star that has been the stuff of legends in folklore for millennia. This is not just any star, this is Betelgeuse, the fiery red giant that sits upon the shoulder of the mighty hunter. Its name echoes through the halls of astronomy with a sense of mystique and intrigue. But now imagine, in the depth of a silent night, as you gaze upon this crimson gem in the sky, you see it expand and explode into a supernova, a light show so dazzling that it would turn night into day for weeks. But then a thought crosses your mind. Could this spell doom for our beloved Earth? Betelgeuse is a behemoth, a star so enormous that if placed at the center of our solar system, it would swallow up Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and even the asteroid belt. Its scale is hard to fathom, but its fate is written in the stars. Betelgeuse is near the end of its life cycle and, like many stars before it, will ultimately go supernova. This is not a maybe, it is a definitely, but in astronomical terms, this could still be hundreds of thousands of years away. But what if this explosion were to occur within our lifetime? What would happen? As this titanic star begins to run out of nuclear fuel, it will explode in a spectacular fashion. Betelgeuse, when it finally meets its dramatic end, will produce a light show that could rival the full moon and be even visible during the day. But wait, what about the impact on Earth? A supernova is an incredibly powerful event. It releases so much energy that for a brief moment, it can outshine an entire galaxy. Such an explosion emits an enormous amount of radiation and high energy particles, which, if you're too close, can spell disaster. This brings us to the crucial question. Is Earth too close to Betelgeuse? Luckily, Earth is situated at a rather comfortable distance from this red giant. Betelgeuse is about 700 light years away. In cosmological terms, this is like being neighbors, but in terms of supernova safety, this is well beyond the danger zone. Scientists have deduced that to be catastrophic to life on Earth, a supernova would have to occur within a mere 50 light years. This is because the vastness of space acts as a protective buffer against the harmful effects of a supernova. As the energy from the explosion disperses and dilutes across the interstellar medium, its impact diminishes significantly. By the time any remnants of Betelgeuse's explosive spectacle reach our humble blue planet, they would be nothing more than a faint cosmic whisper. Our atmosphere, acting as a steadfast guardian, would further shield us from the remnants of this grand celestial event. But this is not where it ends. While we've established that the supernova of Betelgeuse would not destroy Earth due to the distance, there are, nevertheless, other aspects and implications of such a supernova that we do not have to take into account. As already discussed, when Betelgeuse goes supernova, it would produce an array of cosmic particles and radiation. One of the intriguing products of this event would be neutrinos. Neutrinos are subatomic particles that rarely interact with matter, and trillions of them pass through our bodies every second without us noticing. This particular supernova would unleash a gargantuan wave of neutrinos. Our neutrino detectors on Earth would go haywire, providing us with crucial information on these elusive particles. While neutrinos themselves would not pose any harm to Earth, they would be the hairbringers, the first messengers, telling us that the light show is about to begin. Then, approximately a few hours after the neutrinos, the electromagnetic radiation from the supernova would reach Earth. The night sky would have a new, incredibly bright star. However, Earth's atmosphere would shield us from harmful high-energy gamma rays and X-rays produced in the explosion. But the light emitted would be so bright that it could have subtle impacts on Earth. For instance, nocturnal animals that rely on the darkness of night could be affected. Their routines and hunting patterns could change due to the brightness of the night sky. Furthermore, the supernova could indirectly affect Earth's climate. The explosion would release a substantial amount of cosmic dust into space. This dust could, over thousands of years, start to interact with the solar wind and the interstellar medium. This interaction could affect the cosmic rays that reach Earth. There is an ongoing scientific debate about the role cosmic rays play in cloud formation. Some theories suggest that an increase in cosmic rays could lead to increased cloud cover, which could have a cooling effect on Earth's climate. While this would not be a catastrophic or immediate effect, it's a fascinating thought about how events so far away in space can have a subtle influence on our planet's environment. While the destruction of Earth is not a concern with Betelgeuse's supernova, 
it is worth exploring hypothetical scenarios for the sake of understanding the vast power of such cosmic events. Suppose Betelgeuse were located within the hazardous 50 light year range. In that case, the consequences would be dire. The intense gamma radiation could strip away Earth's protective ozone layer, leaving the planets vulnerable to harmful ultraviolet radiation from the sun. Such radiation could have devastating effects on the biosphere, disrupting ecosystems and endangering life as we know it. The electromagnetic pulses emitted during the explosion could wreak havoc on our technological infrastructure, disrupting communication networks and rendering satellites useless. This event could set back our current technology by decades. But thankfully, Betelgeuse is safely distant. However, even at this distance, the supernova event would also be a bonanza for scientists back on Earth. With a wealth of new data to analyze, the telescopes, both ground-based and those floating in the cold void of space, would be trained on Betelgeuse, capturing every moment of its metamorphosis. The observations would not only help in understanding the life cycles of stars, but would also reveal mysteries about the fabric of the universe that we have not even thought to question. And what about the cultural impact brought about by the explosion of Betelgeuse? It would be undoubtedly equally impressive. The spectacle of a supernova lighting up the night sky, visible even during the day, would captivate the collective imagination of humanity. People from all walks of life would gaze upwards in awe, united by the shared experience of witnessing this extraordinary cosmic event. It would ignite a renewed interest in astronomy, inspiring a new generation of astronomers, astrophysicists, and space enthusiasts. Observatories and planetariums would buzz with excitement as people clamor to witness this once-in-a-lifetime phenomenon. Artists, writers, and musicians would be inspired, producing works that capture the beauty and majesty of Betelgeuse's supernova. It could mark the dawn of a new era, where the wonders of the cosmos become an integral part of our cultural tapestry. However, while we've talked about the wonders and beauty that the supernova would bring, let's address an inevitable question that might linger in some minds. Would any doomsayers be prophesizing the end of the world? The answer is most likely yes. Throughout history, astronomical events have often been linked to superstitions and prophecies. Some would probably interpret Betelgeuse's supernova as an omen. In such a situation, it would be important for scientists and educators to communicate clearly with the public to assuage fears and replace myths with knowledge. To end the video, the supernova of Betelgeuse would be, without any doubt, one of the most spectacular events in human history. But thankfully, not one that would endanger Earth. Instead, it would be an event that would enrich our culture, ignite our imaginations, and deepen our understanding of the universe. The night sky would lose one of its most iconic stars, but in exchange, we would gain an experience that would be talked about for generations to come. So, if one day, as you gaze at the night sky, you notice that Betelgeuse is missing, take a seat, invite your loved ones, and watch as the universe puts on the show of a lifetime. The cosmic ballet goes on, and we are all privileged to have front row seats. Are there any other implications we missed? Tell us in the comments below. This brings us to the end of this video. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can keep bringing more content like this. See you next time.